Hello friends, I am here today to talk a little bit about harp muffles. So on the harp, the basic thing to understand is that it's a resonant sustaining instrument. So most other instruments with the exception of some percussion instruments, namely mallets, if you play a note, it will keep playing as long as you are actively making sound. So on the piano, they'll be holding the key down on the string instrument, that would be blowing, wind instrument, blowing on the instrument, but as soon as you stop, the sound will stop. The harp is the opposite. It requires one motion to make the sound, and then it's going to keep on ringing for a very long time unless you come back and stop the sound. So it's something really important to keep in mind when you're writing for the harp is a lot of the notes will be ringing. So if you're playing multiple notes at the same time, all of those notes are going to be ringing as you're coming back. As you come back on the instrument. So there's a couple things that we'll talk about in later mini trainings on how to work with the instrument, but today we want to talk about what if you want the sound to be stopped. So there are a couple things that you can do if you want the sound to be stopped immediately after playing. And there's a couple different kinds of muffles. So you have your basic muffle. If you want the sound to be stopped, you can actually write a muffle in this score. It looks very similar to the coda symbol, but the important thing is you need to allow time for those muffles to happen. So if you're playing notes up here, you can't muffle while you're having to place and play the notes up high. So you have to allow time in the music for the muffles. You can though, you don't have to muffle the entire harp. You can actually muffle individual notes. So say I'm playing this chord and I want the C to stop because maybe I'm changing the pedal or something, but I don't want all the sounds stopped. You can notate just to muffle that one string. So that's an option. The other thing, you can actually play staccato on some notes. So one way we can do that is by using flat octaves or etouffee in the left hand, flat octaves. We actually come back on the string and kind of brush by to stop the sound as we're going up. So it keeps it a lot cleaner. It's not truly staccato, but it still keeps it a lot cleaner. We can also do etouffee, which is the same thing, but just on one note. So it's the left hand thumb. Now it's important we can't do this technique in the right hand just because of the way that um, we're sitting at the harp, we can't really twist our arm that way. So with the right hand, you can just come back and use the back of your finger to muffle a string. This works for ascending stepwise passages only. You can also sometimes use your thumb to come back on. This doesn't have to be stepwise, but it's a lot easier if it is stepwise or at least have the notes closer together. So bottom line, if you want notes stopped on the harp or any kind of staccato or stopped sound rather than just ringing, you have to factor in time for muffles. So think carefully about where you want them, if you want them, and what kind of muffles you want.